And so one of the people that I wrote to was a guy, drum roll, called Nat Kovitz, who was the director of science and technology development for the US Navy. He was literally the boffin, the chief geek for the US Navy for well on 30 years. And I was shocked when this beautiful man rang me out of the blue and just wouldn't stop talking. Um, and it turned out, sadly, Nat was dying of cancer. And I, I have to admit, I'd been very circumspect about what I'd said I wanted to talk to him about. And I had hinted that I was interested in more fringe areas of his job, but we talked for weeks about early drone technology that he was involved in developing. He told me a funny story about how um, the Secret Service used these um, uh, electromagnetic blockers to stop anything from flying over the presidential ranch when George Bush Sr. was the president and um, one of his daughters was getting married. And he told me that the US uh, Navy that he was working with were testing a brand new drone. It was very early drone technology. And um, he had a Baltimore uh, address, but he had a Brooklyn accent. And he went, oh, yeah, we parked that thing about a meter in the ground, two feet in the ground. I think he, he used his feet. Um, two feet in the ground, he said, that was the end of the drone program. And um, and then after weeks of this kind of conversation, it was becoming very obvious to me that um, he knew what I was really wanting to talk to him about. And then completely out of the blue one day, he said to me, Ras, why don't you just ask me the question? And so my heart's beating at 100 miles an hour at that point. And I said, okay, Nat, I'll, I'll ask you this way. Now, you understand what it means when you're read into a project. Um, if you're read into a project, uh, you are essentially taken through the security classifications that are necessary for you to understand what that project's about and you, you are read in and you sign a, an agreement that you will abide by the national security classifications for that special compartmented intelligence. And so I used the terminology that we'd been talking about for previous projects that he told me about. And I said, Nat, were you ever read into a UFO retrieval and re-engineering program. And I'm waiting and there's no, there's no reply at the end of the line and there's this kind of hiss, trans-Pacific hiss. And then back comes, yes, very firm. And I almost fall off my chair and I, <laughs> I go, oh, so, sorry, um, I, I thought he was going to deny to me, you know, and say flatly, no. And he'd obviously made the decision. I think he'd just gone, oh, fuck it, you know. And he was, sadly, God bless him, he was dead in about three or four months. And so I figured at one stage, yeah, she said to me, she says, oh, what are they going to do to me? What are they going to do to me? And then he said, I, I then asked the next question. I said, um, so can I just clarify? You said you were read into a UFO retrieval program. I said, how many were you told had been retrieved? Multiple. 